I was hesitant. You know, I was hesitant to spend the money to begin with. And then I was hesitant to spend the money on the new brain and the upgrade. But you can't deny the results. My name is Ted Kaplan. I'm CEO of Professional Produce in Vernon, California. We pack probably four or five different varieties of produce, uh, tomatoes, uh, three different kinds of citrus. We do some mixed fruit packs. We pack just about everything. We're packing for major food service distributors, a number of retailers uh, throughout the country. One of the things that helped draw me to professional produce was number one, their food safety. Number two, the fact that they had the original compact machine. This facility is clean all the time. Every day, 24 hours a day, we have teams cleaning up, making sure everything is top notch. We could probably eat off the floors. We banked and built this company in the last 10 years on creating food safety programs that are as top notch as anywhere in the world. We've managed to maintain our SQF certification the whole time we've had our machine. With the fruit itself, uh, I would say that uh, it's gentle enough to where we work some apples. Compact's helped me upgrade it to almost an exclusively stainless steel machine now, and all the food contact surfaces are hygienic. Mother Nature plays a big factor into the quality and to the grades of the product that uh, we're bringing in. Sometimes we don't have a choice uh, of what's coming in, and so it, it does require us to be nimble and, and work through the packs because regardless of what's happened with Mother Nature, our customers still have specs. When we had the old brain, it was good. But when we upgraded the production, it gives you a more internal look at all the fruit and everything you're packing. If you're dealing with a processor, you're talking about softness, uh, even some internal green, some things like that that you can't necessarily detect just looking outside of uh, the piece of fruit. The quality of our pack is much better with the Spectrum system. Our rejection rate has gone down significantly, and I think our throughput is at least one and a half times, maybe two times greater than it used to be. You don't get a machine like this to reduce your labor. You get a machine like this to increase your production create more sales, diversify yourself to more customers, and be able to meet the needs of them. Every customer has different specs, and so it's important for us to be able to hit those specs and constantly learn what the industry is telling us, not only our customers, but even our competitors. We do a lot of different chains, and they see the benefit because when a supermarket chain from California or the Midwest or Texas calls us up and asks us, can you run a load and get this stuff ready for us in a certain amount of time? We are always able to say yes. My role down here is running the warehouse and the production rooms and keeping things moving. What I'm more interested in is relationships than just having vendors to get things done. And, and I've developed a really strong relationship with Compact with their mechanical people and their technical people. Machines break, you know, so it's all about the service when you buy machinery, and uh, Compact's good. The glitches you have in the machines are generally human error. We don't wait around very long. If we have problems, they get solved. They're very responsive to our needs. And so it's always important for us to continue to upgrade and try and better our packs and better our service for our customers. It's become a partnership. As Compact continues to grow with their Tomer food upgrades and in different situations, professional will grow. I'm definitely excited about the future and what the, the next technology can bring. I'm very impressed with the Compact team in general from the sales all the way through the service department. You put forth the energy, you close your eyes, you sign the check, and you say, what the hell? This is what we're doing. If you're not on the bus, you're watching it go by.